All right, let's check out some third grade work done by Mrs. Williams and Mrs. Moshak's wonderful class, and they are going to use Legos to explain to you how the distributive property helps them solve harder equations. So Natalie and Anaya are showing you how they used the distributive property to break apart eight times seven. And really what they're doing is they're taking seven and splitting it into five and two, and then using some facts that they know. So they have eight rows going down with two yellow and then five red. And that is a model of eight times seven that breaks it down into two easier facts. So when you look at Anthony, he explains it more, that really the two times eight piece gives him 16, a fact that's easier for him to know, and then the five times eight, again, using our five facts, because those are really easy for us to know, um, makes 40. And then by adding those, gives you the total area, because area is additive. Nice job, Anthony. When we look at Asia and Sydney's work, they do it very similarly. They were able to break apart 8 times 5 into 40, 8 times 2 into 16, and they add those together, and that's represented in their array. There's my 8 times 5, there's my 8 times 2. So by breaking apart 8 times 7 into two facts that they're fluent with, they're able to solve for that fact quicker. Again, we look at Mrs. Moshak's beautiful scaffold. And we're splitting that 7 into 5 and 2. And that gives us an addition sentence. And again, a beautiful representation of the distributive property using Legos. Two more examples from our students. Really taking uh, a harder fact and breaking it apart into two easier ones. This would be a great strategy for mental math. Finally, we'll let two of their students explain how their knowledge is a superpower. Can you guys show me, where do you see eight times two? Great, where do you see eight times five? Great, and how does that make eight times seven? Because the eight times, you could Yeah, where do you see the eight times seven? Because the, um, here with the two, and the, um, yep. five. Yep, going up in the red. And so where's the eight gonna be then? The eight would be down. Great. And so what this helps me do is it helps me to know that 8 times 5 is 40, and 8 times 2 is 16, and 40 plus 16 is 56.